Hail Panda Wands! Happy friggin' New Year! Well, at least to those of you who are up by now, it's, uh, let's see, almost 1 o'clock Lone Star State time, and uh, those back in California may still be, you know, sleeping one off. <laughs> yeah, New Year's are crazy, man. I, I, was, I was such a good dwarf. Um, I was, let's see, I did, I did this artwork that I'm showing you right here, and I was finished this and was in bed probably at 10.30 and was up at 5.30 a.m., waking up the crows and the roosters and knocking the, knocking the, the moon to go down and wake up the sun and all that. Yeah, I was a good dwarf. <laughs> I, did, I wasn't like last man standing or whatever, last dwarf standing, uh, you know, holding the gates open. <laughs> Speaking of Last Dwarf, that's who I am actually drawing here. I originally was just going to do a picture of a dwarf, you know, cheersing and beersing and Happy New Yearsing, you know, everybody. And then I go, well, you know what? This guy kind of looks like my Grim beard. I drew the little skull buckle. That's what Grim has. And uh, you'll see it, it evolve. I, eventually, I'll just go like, ah, screw the horn. Oh, I, <laughs> right there, screw the horns, put on a little captain's hat or Rob Halford hat with the wings. And uh, we're just going to do Grim beard now. And those of you who don't know, Grimbeard is, uh, he's a, a captain, uh, and he is the main character in a group of short stories I wrote uh, called Tales of the Last Dwarf, and it's basically about Captain Grimbeard. He has a little too much of a celebration one night and passes out, and it was a hell of a pass out, I guess, because he woke up thousands of years in the future. And it's a world that's ruled by the most awful and malevolent creatures in the world, the elves. So he is the last dwarf in the world, and he has to fight against futuristic elves with unicorn hovercrafts and all that. And so it's just him, and he has to assemble a crew. And that the all the short stories are basically him going on one crazy tale or another and then uh, fighting the elves or fighting the giants and that kind of stuff. It's a, It was a fun series. I actually wrote... The Grimbeard Tales of the Last Dwarf is a series of short stories, and I would publish them on Amazon because the the actual book I was working on called The Last Winter, it the illustrations in it were more in depth. The writing, well, at least for me, was more complex. Where Grimbeard was just written in the style of the American tall tale, you know, it's just boisterous and you know the guys you know completely talking smack on everybody and it was just something really fun and easy to write as well as the art style it was all done uh kind of pencil style it was all done on computer but it was done pencil style and it was done in a sepia tone and i had like a you know parchment paper texture on it so it just felt like kind of old school uh fantasy style drawings it was a blast to write and you know it was so fun to to uh, work on. So it had been a couple years since I had seen my old pal, Captain Grimbeard here. So I thought, what better way to celebrate New Year's than hang out with an old friend and uh, let him be the one waking up with the hangover and not me. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's great. Okay. So speaking of the, the last winter, um, that was actually a, an illustrated novel. Like I said, I was working on Grimbeard during that because it was taking me so long to do. I wanted to have something that I could kind of learn how to publish on Amazon and that sort of stuff. But um, the Last Winter book and the Grimbeard book came out in the same year. Like one came out, I think Grimbeard came out in March and Last Winter came out in October of 2017, I think. Yeah. Um, but speaking of saying of Last Winter, um, I had been doing an audio book of Last Winter uh, this year with... Uh, um, a group called Bain Studios, and on YouTube, it's the Cybrarian. So, if you want to hear some really cool Conan short, you know, short stories and you know, Scottish folk tales and things like that, check out the Cybrarian. But he had just finished, and his his studio finished the last winter, so it's all done. The audio book will be out soon. Um, I'll make sure I share that so you you can check it out. You can check out the first two chapters for free um, on YouTube. Just go to the Cybrarian page or just type. You know, there's links on my Twitter and stuff. You can find it as well. But it came out so cool. And it was, you know, a lot of characters. And this guy is doing all the voices for it. So, it, it, man, they put in a lot of work in it. And I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So it's, it's, uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing that all together in the, 
in one format, whereas before I heard it, you know, chapter by chapter, so it wasn't uh, wasn't as fluid as it could be. But with the whole thing together now, it's it's uh, it's going to be awesome. All right, so what are some of the things that you know? Everybody has their New Year's resolutions and all that, and so some of the things I want to focus on this year are I want to, of course make more art. <laughs> I'm always going to be doing that. I have a lot of different projects that I'm working on. I'm hoping that some of these projects I can announce this year and share with you guys. Um, one of them, I'll give a little bit of a, a, a tease, and I think I had mentioned it before on some of the previous videos. Um, I'm working with my buddy Alex Horley, and if you don't know Alex Horley, you should check out his stuff. He's a phenomenal painter, still paints traditionally. and he, You know, he works digital too on stuff, but he is a traditional painter, you know, he has art that, you know, it looks like it was done from, you know, Marvel Comics, John Buscema. He can, you know, emulate Frazetta. He can emulate Simon Bisley. And I met him, geez, probably about 15, 16, 17 years ago, like when the, the Warcraft, World of Warcraft trading card games started. Not, not Hearthstone. That's, you know, they used a lot of art from the TCG. Let me, I sound like a nerd. Oh, the, the TMNT, TCG, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I met him at the beginning of that. And he, he was one of the first artists because we were working for the first time with outside artists. He was one of the first dudes that could hit the style we were looking for to make it look like Warcraft, where a lot of other artists were going, oh, well, it's a fantasy game. So here's your elf. And it's just this, you know, silly looking Legolas dude with, you know, it's not a cool night elf. It's just your standard Tolkienian, is that the word? Tolkien style or, you know, Northern Europe style, you know, elves and that kind of thing. Now, you know, Blizzard has its own style of stuff and they had to nail it. And Horley was one, like the first guy, as soon as I saw his picture he did, it was like this elf ranger, not ranger, I'm sorry, elf hunter doing like a multi-shot arrow. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, dude, this guy's good. Get him as many cards as you can because he's got the style. Um. And so, you know, now he and I are working on a, you know, we've worked together, like I said, for years, but this is the first project. Well, let me take that back. Second project, he worked on Strange Highways, um, which is a book I had worked on with my buddy Mickey. And he did, I did all the interior art in the cover and he did three pieces of, you know, painted like chapter art or, you know, uh, what do they call that? Act one, act two, act three, you know. He did those, and so that was the first time we kind of worked together um, on a personal project. But this one is straight up, he and I working together. Um, I'm going to be working on the story. Uh, he's going to be doing the, the majority of the art in, in his style, and which is, again, his style and my style are very similar. His is probably more realistic and less silly. Like, I have, I have a, you know, look at what I'm drawing here. <laughs> um, but I'm also going to be doing art for the book, too. And so that's one of, the, I think, the cool things is that we're going to be working on this together and, and doing this book. And I, you know, I'm not going to, hopefully you don't get pissed off, Alex. I'm going to give away a little bit. Um, he had mentioned when we were talking about working on a project together, he had came up with this idea and it just sounded perfect, but it sounds you know silly as well. He's like, I don't, you know, he's Italian, so I'm going to be rude and make a bad Italian sort of thing. He's like, I don't know, man, I want to do something that's like, I don't know, Frazetta meets He-Man. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I see where you're going. And that, literally that weekend, after he, we have a talk every Friday, we chat, that weekend I wrote up a whole thing for it. <laughs> and so we're, we're working on that. Uh, and hopefully, well, definitely this year you guys will see some of the stuff we're doing. But I just love, I just wanted to, tease a little bit of what that is. Um, and you probably are going like, that sounds awful. And I said, that sounds awful good. <laughs> okay. Um, so one of the other things I'm going to work, oh, one, one of the things that's definitely coming out this year, um, myself and I've mentioned my buddy Mickey, Mickey Nielsen, worked at, worked at Blizzard with me and all that um, for 20-something years. But we have our first comic, non-Blizzard comic, I should say, coming out together. You know, he and I dreamed of doing a comic together since we were... 16 and 17 years old, working at the old AMC movie theater in, in Orange, or, yeah, was it Orange, California? Yeah, Orange. Um, but I remember he and I walking around in our silly little 
you know, tuxedos and stuff and just talking about comic ideas and this and that. We're going to make a comic and this and that. And we're finally able to do that. It's none of the ideas that we had back in the day, which those are still awesome. But this one would we kind of just came up with and and they seem the uh, dark horse is the company that's going to be uh, publishing it they like the idea so that's what we're doing so i definitely have a you know a comic coming out this year it's a graphic novel format i think i'm not sure the exact if it's uh paperback or all you know that kind of stuff i forget what it what it is but it's it's like it's not just like a one of those cat swatter comics you know like a little floppy it's a, you know it's a it's a substantial like it's like four four type issues you know um, let's see, I have, okay, yeah, I have, so I have my second how to draw book finished. I just need to do the writing for it. You know, the, in this stage, we're rounding out the shapes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the market for the how to draw books, I have one out currently and it's, thank you for everyone who's bought it. It's still selling like crazy and, um, it's three years old. And I'm looking on Amazon for like the, you know, the sales numbers and it's still doing really well three years later. So thank you all. Um, the second one is done. They just don't seem to have a, as strong of a, a market for how to draw books now. Maybe it's too saturated, stuff like that. Kind of like my color palette. Ha, nerd joke. Um, but uh, so I have it done and we're just kind of seeing what we're going to do. You know, are we going to wait? Do we want to publish it ourselves? Things like that. There's also... <laughs> I, I I don't know how this would be, but apparently the, the the big new thing now is sort of like dark and spooky coloring books. I know there's like coloring books for adults, which is, I, I guess I get it, you know, like people want to be artistic, but, you know, so it's, I guess they're just coloring. Um, but so the idea is maybe I could do some concepts for something like that. Like, and if you guys have any ideas on what would be a cool topic for that, I mean, it could be horror and gothic or dark fantasy or maybe it's angels and devils demons sci-fi werewolves i don't know all that sounds really fun but i don't know like if you were if you were coloring artwork from me what would you want to color um let's see what else do we got oh so maybe some like uh i'm, I'm looking at doing a patreon page i've got to find out kind of what what would be good to i guess you know give to the the patrons on that so that's one thing I'm looking at. Um, I'm also looking at putting back together uh, my website, um, Art of Samwise. I think that name has been co-opted and it's now like a, be careful, like safe search on when you look, because I think it's a porn site. <laughs> but um, I'll be putting together my own website again, The Art of Samwise maybe, um, or just calling it, you know, something else. Uh, I don't know, but that's one of the, those are two of the things I want to work on because I used to sell prints on my website and that's what I'd like to do now is sell my prints, uh, the old stuff I have, the new stuff I'm making. Um, so, and a lot of them would be uh, some of the, the art I did for Blizzard for Hearthstone. And, you know, a lot of people who I've uh, met before and we've hung out at conventions and stuff like that, they have a lot of the old prints. And usually what I do is uh, on the website, I will... Like say, you know, I always make like these kind of made up holidays, like October for October. So anyone buying X amount of prints in October will get a free Orktober, you know, Orktober Brutal Doodle. And then I did one for, you know, my version of Valentine's Day is Valhallentine's Day. And it's, you know, basically undead Vikings and little hearts and cutesy pie stuff. But it's still kind of, you know, spooky stuff. You know, I do that with Christmas. Twisted Christmas is, you know, kind of. My characters like Santa Claus and Rude Dolph and all, the, you know, my old Christmas cards that basically look like Christmas characters as X-Men. But that's what I'm working on, man. And, uh, man, hey, dude, that's what I'm working on. <laughs> that's what I'm working on, Panda Wands, this year. What about you? Won't you let me know what you are going to be working on this year? And, um, you know, you can leave comments. Again, ask questions if you have more questions. Some of them I can't go into more detail um, because I haven't fully announced projects yet, so don't talk about the Horley one. <laughs> All right, Band of Wands. Uh, it was awesome, awesome, awesome talking to you again. This is the new year. Let's create art. Let's make more art than we did last year. So, yeah, another year of ABC. Abundant, bountiful creations. All right, cheers and beers, everyone, and I will talk to you soon. Hail.